Just into our newsroom, Sac State is calling out CAP Radio after the public station's board of directors voted tonight to move forward in hiring a new general manager at a cost of nearly half a million dollars a year. They're not only questioning that move, they say they won't pay for it, especially after an audit found widespread mismanagement of CAP Radio's finances. And as KCRA3's Orko Mana explains, a member of CAP Radio's board is calling for the top leadership to resign. All of the major discrepancies in financial instability that I saw, I, I knew that I had to speak up. Natalie Andrade Dominguez is fed up with the problems plaguing Capital Public Radio. As the student body president of Sacramento State, she's also the student representative on the CAP Radio Board of Directors. She says it's time for the executive officers and finance committee members to step down. It's clear to me that the board needs restructuring and that these members do need to resign in order to move forward until we can find individuals who can follow how boards need to be ran. A recently released audit by the California State University Chancellor's Office details widespread mismanagement of CAP Radio's finances. The audit reveals numerous issues, including more than $1 million in unapproved loans for studio equipment and furniture, a lack of review of credit card purchases, and the station falling behind on loan payments. The audit also questions Cap Radio's ability to make payments on its new downtown building. The Cap Radio sign is out front, but the space isn't open, and inside, the furniture is still covered in plastic. Andrade Dominguez says adding to her anger about the situation is that Tuesday afternoon's Cap Radio board meeting regarding personnel and related matters abruptly turned into a closed session. What I have seen is egregious, astounding, and heartbreaking. As the financial mismanagement was exposed, Sac State President Luke Wood appointed the university's chief financial officer to take over management of CAP Radio. And there's a rough road ahead. Our internal analysis of the budget indicates that CAP Radio will likely have no remaining financial resources by January. CAP Radio donors have been getting letters like this as recently as Monday, the station telling them, quote, you can be sure we run the tightest possible ship with maximum accountability and shoestring budgets. Andrade Dominguez calls that wording shocking and horrible and says the audit shows CAP Radio does not run a tight ship. She's hoping her call for resignations will lead to accountability and positive change. The main goal here is to get back to Catholic Public Radio's mission. Reporting from Sac State, Orco Mana, KCRA 3 News. KCRA 3 has reached out to several executive officers on the Cap Radio Board for, of Directors for comment. We have not yet heard back.